Grandmother charged with murder after allegedly baking toddler to death in a kitchen oven. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a perplexing one. We have a grandmother who puts her granddaughter in the oven. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. It'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. In a gruesome report, a grandmother from Shaw, Mississippi, was charged with first-degree murder after her granddaughter was found to be have was found to have been stabbed, placed in the oven, and then baked to death. What? The incident occurred back in 2018, and police took 48-year-old Carolyn Jones into custody after making the shocking revelation, and subsequently confirmed to the public that the 20-month-old allegedly died while in her grandmother's care. Mm. Excuse me, according to Fox News, Jones wasn't the only person at home when the grandmother put the child in the oven. Although Jones' motive is unknown, when the police arrived on the scene, it was clear that the little girl had been stabbed and then placed into and baked in the oven. Hmm. Shaw Police Department officers were first to arrive on the scene and they later called the Bolivar County Sheriff's Department for assistance. Neighbors say that they rarely see anyone leave the home or enter the home. I didn't even know anybody was living there. That's what I, that's what's hurting me and shocked me. As many were disturbed that such a gruesome death could happen to a child. You, you don't say. It's a baby, said neighbor Tamara Williams. It's an innocent child. She didn't ask to be here. I mean, if they didn't want her, why keep her? All right, I'm going to stop right there because I can keep on reading, but we're not. I'm going to put the link in the description and let you dig in and, you know, read and do some research or whatever. Um, like I said in the beginning, this happened back in 2018, but um, they just recently um, charged the grandmother with murder. So I guess they put her in jail, you know what I'm saying? They had to go through all their preliminaries and all that kind of stuff, do their research and all that. And you know, on the case and all that, and then, you know, they came up with the charge. Okay, now, first and foremost, you got a grandma, okay? She's watching her granddaughter, okay? Um, you would never think um, in a million years that you would have to worry about your grandmother doing some insane off the cuff type things to their grandchildren. But over here at AG's POV, we find the most randomest stories that the internet can possibly provide. This situation is one of the most perplexing videos I've ever done. I understand that some people don't like children, okay? Some people don't like the thought of children. Maybe they had a bad experience as a child. They want to take it out on a child. Um, you know, maybe it's the parent they don't like, you know what I mean? The situation they may not like, but for someone to not only stab a one year old child, one year, six months, it's eight months, 20 months old. So one year, eight months, 
Um, for someone to go out there and do such a gruesome crime to a child like that needs to be mentally evaluated. What is your motive? They don't know the motive. The story said they don't have a motive. So you don't have a motive why she did it? She just randomly just do it. You don't just randomly stab a baby, okay, and then put her ass in the oven. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like she's a cookie or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, grandmom's known to bake cookies for the kids, have cookies and milk. You know what I mean? You know, spoil the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, take them to the playground. You know, walk them around the block when they're young. You know what I mean? Show them the, you know, show them the ropes. You know what I'm saying? It's usually, most grandparents, that's their pride and joy. You know what I'm saying? Their kids have grown and got to a point in life where they're able to have kids and, you know, they're able to take care of their kids, you know, and in this particular case, mom might have been at work, grandma watching the baby, normal situation, you know what I'm saying, nothing new here, um, but you come home from work, grandma stabs the kid and then puts the kid in a freaking oven, bro, like, and you cook the baby. Like, what the fuck is going on in this world? Excuse my French, okay? But what, who the fuck would do something like that? You put a 20-month-old baby in the freaking oven. Are you kidding me? I can't make this shit up. I can't, because you won't believe me. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. Like, bro, like... You put a baby, who would think to put a freaking baby in the oven? Like, I'm saying it so many times because I'm really trying to get it to register in my brain because that shit don't register, okay? Who does that? Like, you could be poor, not have no sense. I mean, like, if you on drugs, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to get a lady an excuse, but I can't come up with nothing that will tell me that, okay, I truly understand why you put that little baby in the oven and cooked her. I totally understand why you did that. No, I will never understand that shit, okay? These kids were left here, okay? First of all, her daughter had the baby, okay? Now, it's her daughter's job to take care of the baby. Now, I can guarantee you that the mother felt some kind of way about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, she had to be destroyed, be upset, just to know that your mom put your baby in the oven. Like, what you, you like, what the fuck? Bro, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm at a loss of words right now because this is just not normal to me. You know how, you know that phrase that people always say, man, listen, I done heard it all. Been there, been there, done it. I done heard it everything. Well, no, my friend, I have not, I have not heard it all, okay? This right here will eclipse everything that I'm hearing now. You stab the baby up, then you put her in the oven like she's a freaking bratwurst. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, fam. No, we, we not doing this shit right now. We not. So, I'm glad that she was first charged with first degree murder and her ass will never see the light of day, okay? And she shouldn't see the light of day. And at the end of the day, I will hope that someone is in jail and get a makeshift knife and shank her ass to death, okay? And then they'll throw her ass in the oven because she don't have insurance. So now you're gonna be on somebody's, dumped out in somebody's trash can. You know what I mean? That's what needs to happen to her. Because when you do harm to innocent little children, that is a special crime, okay, in the eyes of the world, in the eyes of the good Lord. You were here to take care of this young child, groom her, and move her to the next stages in her life, okay? Unfortunately, this little child will never see that, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm quite sure she's sitting in the arms of the good Lord, you know what I'm saying? The Almighty, 
You know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. She should have been here to have birthday after birthday after birthday to learn and to grow and to understand what life has to have for her. She could have been the next president. She could have been the next doctor. She could have been the next lawyer. She could have been the next Olympian. You don't know what she could have been. I don't know what she could have been. Because now it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. Man, man, man. Listen, this young lady, her daughter, um, had a GoFundMe page. I don't know. Being as though this story was back in 2018, I can't imagine why you would have a GoFundMe page now because the daughter's obviously buried and gone and everything is done deal, whatever. So as I was reading, I did see a GoFundMe page, but um, I won't put that up because that's a past issue. You know what I'm saying? But at any rate, you know, I'll, I will put the link in the description so you can read this for your own your own self so you can re actually see what I'm sitting here telling you is not, you know, a fable. It's not a lie. It's not made up. It's not a fallacy. It's straight up truth, okay? And it's the, un you know, it's just un unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. With that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. Um, it'll, you know, it'll help me out in the grand scheme of things. I'm trying to get more people to come over. More people to see some of these videos, you know what I'm saying? We could talk about some things, you know, we can go live and, you know, get to meet, you know, get to talk to each other. I may try to have, you know, some of you guys come on a live. I haven't done a live yet, but I'm thinking about doing it, you know what I'm saying? It's something I've really always wanted to do. And just interact with my, you know, my audience. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, it'll be coming sometime in the future or whatever. I'll let you know, you know, the, the time and the date or whatever, you know what I'm saying, when I decide to do something like that. But at any rate, while you're waiting, you can head on over to TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Give me a like, give me a follow, and um, we're gonna chop it up over there about different topics and all. You know, the Super Bowl weekend. Um, we got the NBA going on. You know, what I'm saying they got their trades going on. Um, a lot of crime, a lot of goofy shit going on in the world. So I mean, we got stories for days, plenty of things to talk about. So stay tuned for the next one. Is it will always be a next one. Okay? So, with that being said, I love every single one of y'all. I thank y'all for coming. Thank all the new people for coming along. Stick around. We're going to have a great time. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.